guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. Well, are you an internet marketer, network marketer, affiliate marketer, and you are more of a do-it-yourselfer type, but you want to look put together as you're out there building your brand and sending traffic to your funnels. You want to look like the pros, but you don't have the budget to hire a personal branding designer or someone to figure out your color palette for you. But you know that you want your visual branding to also be up to par with what you're doing out there online. I know that was one big thing that was super duper important to me. And, um, Luckily, I had those design skills already, so I was able to come up with a color brand that kind of like reflected who I am, but not everyone has that. So if that sounds like you and you feel like, oh, you know, I, I wish I looked a little bit better online, but I don't have the design skills, and I don't have the budget to really hire a designer, how can I do this myself, right? How can I start making my website look prettier, my, uh, my funnels look prettier, all that good stuff without really you know, having to hire a, a professional to do it for me. Well, in this video, I'm going to share some really simple Canva design hacks that are going to help your funnels or your website look absolutely beautiful. So if you want to see what those simple Canva funnel design hacks are, then keep on watching. Again, this is Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com. Please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would truly, truly appreciate that. All right, guys and guys. Well, I think it's obvious that I like color. I love color. I love color. My shirt matches my background. I, I like things to have a certain look, a certain vibe. If you look at my funnels or my website or my banners on my blog, Everything is cohesive and my visual branding is pretty much put together. And that's just one of those things that really just make me feel more confident and put together as I'm out there marketing and building my business. But here's the thing, and this is what I want to stress to you. That even though a good visual brand can definitely keep you in someone's mind, having a visual brand is important. But the most important thing is the content that you're putting out there. So don't let the visual branding stuff overshadow the content that you're putting out there because if the content that you're putting out there is valuable, that's really what's going to help you convert sales, not necessarily the way that your brand looks or anything. Because you, have, you can have a beautiful website, a beautiful funnel, but if the content on there isn't converting into sales, then none of it matters. But that being said, if you do have good content and you are gaining traction and you want to feel more confident about what you're doing, then you definitely want to be thinking about your visual branding. And not all of us have the skills to really know what colors go good with what or how to make something look pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really simple Canva hack that's going to make you look like a pro without spending the big bucks. So let's jump into the tutorial part of the video now. Hey guys and gals, so here I am inside of my Canva account and literally you can pretty much design anything, but we're gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna show you a few of my cool design hacks that I use to build more branded funnels. And you can go ahead and use some of these design hacks to make your funnels look pretty too, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to the presentation, okay? Because through the presentation, we can create some really cool backgrounds. And a lot of people don't think to do this, but here's a really what here's a really cool one that catches my eye. See, when I see these, I see backgrounds, right? So I can go ahead and like grab this one. And I can go ahead and grab this one. Whoops, let me actually copy it and change the uh, the format. So let me go back up to here and I will make this one, um, I will use this one, okay? So see right here, now we have two awesome backgrounds that we can use. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete this, right? So right here, if you like this color scheme, I mean, you can develop a whole brand color scheme just around these palettes that Canva has already created for you, right? So let me go ahead and get rid of this. So let me delete this group and let me delete this group, okay? So now, I mean, we could stop right here and we have a beautiful 
background scape for our funnel. The, the other thing that we want to do is we want to grab these color codes. Go ahead and open up a text file and I'm going to grab these colors. So this color is right here. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to click over here. See it's highlighted. So when you, when you see that it's highlighted and you click over here, you will already be in that color. So you want to go ahead and copy this code and we want to put it in our file. Okay. And you can put it, you can call it the rust orange. Okay. Now I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to click on this one and see, I'm going to grab the code for here. It's highlighted here. So I'm going to go over here and now I got the code for that one. Okay. So let's go to the text edit. And this will be more like the melon orange. Okay. All right. So now we got those two colors. And then the other color that we have in this design is this one. Okay. So let's click over here and let's go ahead and get our uh, file here. And this is the dark blue. All right, cool. So now we have a beautiful color scheme. We know that it already works because Canva created it and they create all these beautiful color schemes that you can basically draw inspiration from to develop your own branding. And we're going to use these. Okay. Okay. So the last thing we want to do before we head on over to the funnel building software is we want to go ahead and download these pictures. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this custom backgrounds for funnel. Okay. And I'm going to download them and you want to go ahead and change it to a PNG, which is a high quality image. And I'm going to go ahead and download both pages. Okay. So it's going to prepare my design and I am going to go ahead and download it. Okay. Now, uh, keep in mind if you're using Canva, just the free version, you may not get access to all of the cool functionality, but basically um, I use Canva for work, which is like $12.99 a month. So you should be able to access all the things that I've accessed, at least in this video. Okay. All right. So let's go now to my funnel building software and let's build out a beautiful branded funnel. Okay, so I'm inside of my builder all back office and I've got all the tools that I need to build my business online. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our awesome cheetah drag and drop website builder so that we can build a beautiful funnel from scratch. Okay. So I'm just going to give you a few ideas just by using the color scheme that we just chose from Canva using the presentation template. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new site and we're just going to call it Canva funnel demo Canva funnel demo. Okay. So, and if you're out there branding yourself, you know, you want to start creating a look that's unique to you, right? As you can see just by my back office, right? Like everything, I have a, a, a very, um, well-established branding theme. I love the magenta, the blues, the teal, the, that school bus or number two pencil yellow. That's part of my branding. And so everything is cohesive visually when you see my stuff out there on the internet. Okay. So this is just something to consider as you're out there building your brand. Okay. So let me go and find the, um, the uh, temporary site that we just created. Oh, it's under unpublished. Okay. Cause it hasn't been published yet. So let's go to edit site. All right. So what I want to do is I want to edit this page as the home page, and I want to start with a blank slate. Okay. So what I want to first start doing is I want to start adding my panels and I'm going to go ahead and start with a blank panel. Okay. So good job. Now drag and drop an element inside your panel. <laughs> <laughs> that is super cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and skip this tour. All right. Now, the first thing I want to do though, is I want to increase the size just a little bit because this is where a video would go on your uh, sales page, right? For your funnel. So let's go ahead and add an element and I'm going to go ahead and let's say I want to add a box. Okay. So let me go ahead and add a box. All right. And now that little message will disappear and I can go ahead and bring this over here, stretch this out a little bit because this is where I want my video to go. 
Okay, so now what I want to do though is I want to be on the panel so I can change the background color, right? We're going to start our branding scheme. So we're going to go to background, okay? And we want to change the background color. Now let's go ahead and grab our little uh, handy dandy little um, hex code file here. And I'm going to make this dark blue. I'm going to make the dark, I'm going to make it a dark blue background. So let's go ahead and put this in here. And now it's that blue background from the presentation. So let's go ahead and click find. All right. Okay, now if you come over here under background, here's a really cool feature. You can enable an arrow effect, okay? So it's kind of like a divider. So what we can do is make that arrow color the exact same color of our background, okay? So now we have like instant design, okay? All right, so let's just build out the framework. So we don't want it too saturated with color. So let's, we want to leave like the next panel maybe blank. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add another panel. And I'm just going to put, let's say, um, let's say a content panel. And we'll just go ahead and add that. Okay, so there we have a content panel. Well, let's say now we want to do maybe like, um, we want to have like, uh, testimonials or something, right? So let's go to the testimonials. Let's add a testimonial right over here. Okay. And this happens to be kind of like the color that we have. Okay. But I want to go ahead. Actually, this is really pretty already, but. What I want to do is I want to show you how you can create those Canva templates to change out this background. It just so happens that this is a, an actual beautiful color just for that. But let me go ahead and uh, upload the background that we did for Canva. I want to come to background, I want to right click so that we are under this panel and I'm going to go ahead and change the image and I'm going to go ahead and select a file. I want to go ahead and grab the background that we downloaded from Canva. And I'm uploading that now and I want to select it and I want to click save. Okay. All right. So, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and add another panel. Maybe let's add some features and we're going to go ahead and maybe add this. All right. And then we're going to add maybe a pricing table. Let's go ahead and add a pricing table. We'll go ahead and use this one and then we're going to go ahead and change out the background. Okay. So let's change out the background and let's select the one that we did from Canva. So let me go ahead and change the image, select the file and let's choose the other one. Okay. So now that looks great. And then what we can do is add a quick footer. So let's go ahead and add one more panel and add a footer. Let's see, where's the footer? And we can add a footer. And let's say we want to add maybe this one. Okay. And honestly, that looks great. You could leave it just like that. But we want to uh, stay with our color palette, which, like I said, this looks gorgeous already. But let's go ahead and just for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and uh, maybe use the dark blue again as the footer. So I'll go ahead and right click over here and change that to the design color that already came with the Canva downloads. All right. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So now you have a beautifully designed funnel and you didn't have to pay a designer to do it either. It's pretty cool. You can do it yourself. And with our funnel building software, we make it super duper simple to put this together. So all you have to do is go to Canva and select a presentation template. And there's so many of them that you can choose from. This, these make beautiful brand palettes. If you're not sure about what brand palette you should be choosing, 
then go ahead and go into Canva, see what they've already created, and then just take the colors from what they already have and incorporate them into your visual branding, and then use our final software to make everything look beautiful. Now, this is just a preview of some of the things that I'm going to be doing on my upcoming series called Watch Me Build Wednesday, and that's coming in early February. So if you are into building funnels or building websites, or you wanna learn how to build marketing campaigns, or build your visual branding or any of that stuff online, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel because that will be upcoming very, very soon. So, I All right, guys and gals. Well, I truly hope that that helped you. It was pretty simple, right? And we created a beautiful framework for a page using Cheetah and then those Canva hacks. I thought it was really, really simple. So all you have to do is go inside the presentation section, find a, a color scheme that really speaks to you, grab those hex codes, and then build out a funnel that is pretty much already professionally branded because you already have a good foundation to start with using these Canva presentations. So I think that's a really awesome hack. Let me know what you think. If you like this video and it helped you, please go ahead and like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you wanna be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. Oh, and if you wanna learn more about the Cheetah Builder, which is what I use to build the funnel framework, and it's just one tool out of the many tools that we have available inside of the digital marketing platform that I use to build my business called Builderall. If you want to check it out, if you want to test it yourself, you can go ahead and activate a free 14-day trial to check out the software, check out everything that we have to offer, and then use this video to grab the palette that you want from Canva, and you can start playing around with our funnel building software and build funnels and websites and all that now that you have a really cool branding design hack that you can use for any project that you want. So again, if you want to check out the free trial for 14 days, all you have to do is click on the link right below my video, open up my description box, and I will have a link there for you. And if you happen to activate a paid plan, that means that automatically you will be inside of my digital marketing team, which is super duper cool, right? So anyway, with that being said, Thank you so much for watching. This has been Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. I really hope that helped you, and I will see you on another video. Bye.